reach the island. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's, and yet as mortal as his own. We know now that as human beings busied themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied, perhaps almost as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the transient creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. A drop of water. With infinite complacency, people went to and fro over the earth about their little affairs, serene in the assurance of their dominion over this small spinning fragment of solar driftwood, which, by chance or design, man has inherited out of the dark mystery of time and space. Yet, across an immense ethereal gulf, minds that are to our minds as ours are to beasts in the jungle, intellects vast, cool, and unsympathetic, regarded this earth with envious eyes, and slowly and surely drew their plans against us. <laughs> What's the first star mount track? I'm Damien Madalena. I, uh, I, I guess I, I had the initial seed to do the War of the Worlds uh, live broadcast on the radio, and uh, I guess I kind of directed it, but I saw myself more as a facilitator. Yeah, he sure went a long way from saying, Damien La Barbarossa. I'm just kind of saying, facilitating this is. whole thing. I'm not in charge. Electric Napoleon. Yeah. Through most of it until the last week, then it was just, I guess somebody had to call the shots after a while, but. Oh, here it is. Russell Can someone get water? Hi, Russell. 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 Water. Somebody, yeah. please. Yeah. And you need to read every word of the script with what's being said so that you don't lose your place. Solution. The final douchey thing I will say. Uh -huh. You can't have your cell phones on. No, Nobody can have their cell phones on. You have to turn them off. So I guess I pseudo-directed, facilitated, and uh, had the initial idea to do it, and assembled the, uh, the cast of players, I guess. Get ready. Don't get too close to the mic. Uh, yeah. Where are you? How do you know about my names? Where do I? Here. Not Where's this? Fan? Fan. Hey, guys. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, from in the beginning, it was just me, and it bounced around my head for I don't know from October till about October 2008 till about the beginning of the summer, let's say late spring, early summer of 2009. You know, initially I asked a few close friends because I knew that they would be worth uh, the time. I'm, I don't want to sound like that. I knew that they would do a good job. I knew that they'd be really into it. Uh, and I knew it was something they'd be excited about. And then I put out a general call to KNC. Hey, anybody want to help? And I didn't hear from anybody, like maybe one or two people. And, and, and I was, at one point I was like, well, that's, this is going to be awesome. Why don't you want to help out? But in another sense, I was like, well, that's good. Like, at least I can say that I wanted people from KNC, but now I have really, really, I have a lot of control over who I'm, I'm handpicking, basically, to, to do this. I'm Caitlin Colley. I play a DJ who... Well, it's like I normally am, who goes out into the field with my friend, the uh, astrophysics grad student at State, to see go. what's going on in Deep Forest. I had never done that before. Evening. It made me so, I was like, phone, so I didn't know what to do, but then Damien was saying, you know, just, just sound more freaked out. And so I had to sit here and picture it by my mind's eye. There's a thing in front of me, and there's a Martian coming out. It was still kind of, it was really bizarre, and I didn't, it's weird being in the studio and you're seeing what's going on, like how it's going out and, you know, what's making it happen. The monster or whatever it is can hardly move. It seems weighed down by possibly gravity or something. The thing's raising up. The crowd falls back now. They've seen plenty. This is, this is the freakiest thing that's ever happened to me. I, I can't find words. But then um, I was listening to it again and I was just like, that, that sounds really, it, it would, it's just so different to just hear hear the voices without the um, seeing the studio. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt our program to bring you a special bulletin from the Associated News Wire at 15 minutes before the hour Eastern Time. NASA My name is Jacob Downey, and in the uh, KNC production of War in the Worlds, I played myself. Uh, it, was, it was very exciting, and it was, it was a challenging role. It's presently 76 degrees outside, and then expected low this evening of 54 degrees. But, uh, but I pulled it off. I played the, the best Jacob that, uh, that I think anyone could have done. I thought it was pretty surprising how well some of the performers did, considering they've never been in a station together. 
and the, re the rehearsals were really good about that because they were just really good at drawing it out of each other. People are freaking out. There's been a huge explosion and fire and smoke south of Duke's campus. Maybe related to the explosions on Mars and the gas clouds heading towards Earth? Maybe. Dave? This is probably a meteorite of unusual size, and its arrival at this particular time is merely a coincidence. I would like to see it, though. Let's all head over there. It's at Duke Forest. Okay, well, we're going to head over to the area of the impact. We'll get back to you. The script has really good dialogue, but some of it was really dated, so by people messing around and stuff, it contemporized the piece a lot better, and it was, it was good to knew some of the staff already, and it was good to make some new friends, so I really enjoyed it. Calling Seymour Johnson. Come in, please, Seymour Johnson. What page? Anyone? Uh, 25. Anyone? Seymour Johnson? Yeah. We have operator 2 respond with, Seymour Johnson here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Seymour Johnson. Oh, God. The part with the... Oh, there was one practice where Damien put that in on purpose when it's these radio operators talking to each other, and it was Seymour Johnson, come in, Seymour Johnson. And the way they read it was it sounded like, you know, and we giggled like 12-year-old boys for about five minutes when we finally did it with straight face. And so I still, you know, well, if I see anyone, I'm just like, Seymour Johnson. Seymour Johnson here. Let's see. Yeah, Seymour Johnson. <laughs> God, that's going to be our 12-year-old segment. Yes, I've been cracking about that. Uh, Brian, um, is, he's a percussionist, and, I, and he's into sa just sounds, you know. He likes to make noises and musical noises, I guess. But uh, when I asked him uh, to do the show, I guess I didn't explain myself very well. I guess I said, Brian, I would really like for you to do War of the Worlds. I want you to do the sound effects. Are you cool with that? You want to do the sound effects? And he, he said, well, let me call you tomorrow. And so when he called me back, he said, um, I'll do it, but I want to do old-time Foley sound effects. And I said, well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, of course. And he got, he got very excited. And he said, yeah, like I've been reading online about the stuff that they used to do. And one thing they would do is smash two cabbages together for like noises of impact, you know, punches or, you know, people falling down or who knows. Um, and so that became kind of a joke. And the first time, the first two times we played or practiced, I had two cabbages that we kind of ceremonially ceremonially put on the table, you know, because I thought that would be a silly sort of, you know, camaraderie building sort of thing to do. I like to be, I'm a kind of a goofball. Uh, and so, you know, we, we whacked them together at first somewhat sheepishly, you know, I guess no one was really sure what would happen, you know, kind of. It's really changed how I look at cabbages. It's like, I always question why are they in the produce section of the grocery store? They have so many uses. and. Uh... And so uh, I'll, I'll always uh, have, have a respect for the cabbage outside of Cole's Law now. This is the rosebud of this Orson Welles kind of thing. Okay. You see the cabbages at the beginning and you don't understand what they are until the end. And then you're like, oh. Oh, two cabbages is a sled. Two cabbages is a sled. It's a sled. This is and has been La Barbarossa saying, good night, Raleigh wherever you are. We feel like we did a good job. We don't, we're not afraid to say that to each other. And, and when people say, hey, I heard it and it sounded really good, or I enjoyed listening to the broadcast, you know, we'll say thanks and, we, you know, we won't say, you're damn right. We'll say, like, we had a good time. We really, we thought we put a lot of work into it and we were really happy with the way it came off and uh, listening to it, um, you know, it's live, which, which makes it great, but it's live. So there were a few little things that my ear now that I hear, I go, ooh, a lot of them are my mistakes. Like, oh, I should have turned that one off. But uh, we're really happy and we're already talking now casually about doing something else. Def definitely. I'd like to see this be something that people could set their, their schedules to. Like, hey, uh, it's been three months. I'm going to go listen to another radio play. Because um, I think anything that gets people listening to radio is, is awesome. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing that's most exciting is that we are definitely excited. And I know I've said this, but we're really looking now to what we'll do next. And we're all busy and I think a little tired of being around each other a lot, though we miss being around each other. You know how that, that goes. Like, that first week, Caitlin and I both were like, 
so no beer and reading scripts at your house this week? You know, like, we really got used to that and it was a lot of fun, but I think given a break, when we all come back, we're going to be pretty psyched to do whatever it is we do. Uh, and it, we have no, we're just floating ideas around at this point. Um, something where someone gets to scream, I guess is really what it's going to be. And we can incorporate cabbages, that would be the most important. <laughs> That's it, that's all my energy, now I'm like a sack of shit. <laughs> now remember you, you got